Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another round of Neuro Dojo. We have for you today a battle on one of the new patch, new maps, new patch, new maps, new maps, new patch, new patch, new match. This is Hard Lead, one of the maps voted on in the ESL map contest, whatever that thing is called. It's one of the maps confirmed in whenever they put those in. And we're also loading these in with the proposed balance changes, the current iteration of them. The changes of this patch are not final per se, but they are a good idea of what we're gonna be working with here. Some things you may have noticed from this are Mothership reworks, Baneling nerf, Ghost nerf, Cyclone rework. Some of the highlights from the patch so far. I played some games against Up a Tree on the new patch, new maps, and it does feel pretty good. It's not a massive change. Didn't really feel like it was a whole different video game, but mainly it's trying to target helping out Protoss, specifically against Terran. That's really the matchup that's the least balanced right now, and that would be in Terran's favor. So just kind of looking at a glance of the balance of the game, you've got Protoss is performing the weakest at the pro level, and then you've got Terran is performing the best with the exception of Serral and Raynor, who just consistently seem to do well. So they threw a couple nerfs at Zerg just to kind of keep Serral and Raynor from winning everything is their goal, I guess. But this game here, we have two brothers fighting. This is Aru and Wilbler. They are twins. And Wilbler, as a reference, has about 10% win rate against Aru, but we will see. How it goes this time, Wilbler has been improving a lot in our Neuro Dojo viewer games. And it looks like both players here are gonna open about as standard as it gets. Hatch cast pool and a Reaper expand or something along those lines. The barracks is done. SCV. Getting a Reaper. Going for the natural here. Gonna just get some money real quick before constructing a base. Wilbler sent one overlord there. Nice tile set on this map. I will say the aesthetic of the new maps is great. I played on all of them. Only one of the maps so far stood out as being particularly bad against, or bad for Zerg, and that would be the map, uh, I think it's Black Lotus. But it's a snowy map, and it's got so many heckin' rocks on it, and the rocks go all the way up the whole sides of the map, so you can't really do Ling run by very effectively at all. So that might be a map where Zerg is either forced to go Roach, or you just veto the map if you're a ladder player. The only issue is for pro players, if you get to the finals, you do have to play a best of seven, which is oftentimes going to involve every single map. So you might have to play on Black Lotus even as a Zerg if you find yourself in a championship in a best of seven. The Reaper looking for some damage here. Will Blur trying to keep this alive. It's got the Queens out, injects with both, and the third base is up. Will Blur's opening is looking pretty good. Only thing here that's a little bit wonky is he's got a shitload of gas for no apparent reason. So the question is, what will he do with his Vespian gas? He forgot Ling Speed, or he's saving it for something that we'll see later on. The Barracks has a reactor. There's a factory here, and another Barracks on the way. Shaping up to be a 2-1-1, most likely. Marines and Medivacs for some aggression. Wilbler has the link speed going, and he pulled two workers off gas. Queens trying to anchor in this defense. Lings are moving out on the map. Queen is getting some creep to connect the natural and the third. This third base, just kind of noting the distances on the map, is pretty far away. <clears throat> this one may be a little bit closer, but it is low ground. It's another thing that you have to kind of sort out whenever you get a new series of maps is what is your expansion pattern? So this would just be expanding horizontally. Oftentimes they'll refer to this as the triangle third because it would make a triangle with your three bases if you took it as a third. And this would be the line third where you're expanding in a line across the map. Both of them have their own advantages and disadvantages. Typically speaking, this would be the defensive base choice because it's further from your opponent. This would be the aggressive base choice closer to your opponent. There's also this forward expand, which is a pretty aggressive one to take. 
Aru getting that combat shield upgrade. And then maybe Stim after that. Another barracks is coming up here. There's no starport. This is an interesting build. It's going to be very heavy on barracks units and not really able to drop. Because you need drop ships to drop. What's my workout routine? You have some serious guns, man. So I do 100 burpees every day. Or I do a push-up into just jumping off the ground. I don't jump as high as I physically can every time to give some mercy to my downstairs neighbors. There are many different ways to execute a burpee. Navy SEAL burpees, you just do a push-up into a standing position and then into the next push-up. Or you can do the wild burpee where you try to jump as high as you can every single time. I also have a weighted vest where I do them sometimes. I did some of those a couple days ago. But yeah, I wanted to have a workout that engages a lot of muscle groups, doesn't require me to leave the home, and I don't really have to think about what I'm doing every day. So that's nice. It's a very low brain requirement thing where I just force myself to do 100 of those every day. Some days I get them done sooner, other days I get them done later. Today I've been getting them done later because we've been busy with the WoW raid and also it's pretty hot today and in the lovely area of Seattle, Washington, people don't really have air conditioning unless you purchased a portable unit yourself because it's supposed to be cool here. It's not that hot, it's like 80 today. Wings are running around, getting vision on the map. Aru doesn't have a third base. This is a two base all in, straight up. A lot of Terrans would have this third base being landed as an orbital at around five minutes to 510 if they're going for a really economical opening. This is not one, this is an all in. Instead of making command centers, Aru has made more barracks. There is a starboard here, but it's very late. So these medivacs are not really gonna have the best healthcare. They're gonna be like 40 soldiers and one medic. <laughs> so good luck to the medic. You're pretty haunted, today. Eh? Thank you, Chant. Thank you, Chant. It's kind of an awkward situation. There's a Ling here, the Marines are just keeping an eye on it. This might be one of the map creeps. They don't even know, they're like, is this a Zerg we're trying to fight? Nope, they saw it. Will Blur does have a lot of Ling Bane. And Bane speed is done, which is good for his ability to defend this. These Marines are running out of the map. Aru is trying to be really sneaky. Really sneaky about this, but the Overlord has seen almost everything. All right. Will Blur is gonna go for a Bane run by and he's making some more Banes. Let's see what these Banes can do. These Banes are shift rally to hit the depot and then go into the natural worker line. And there's an attack happening over here. Will Blur needs to back up and just make as many Banes as possible. Back up, make Banes, give up this base. This is an all in. Just back up, my dude. Back up, make all the Banes you can. Oh my gosh, he over overlorded. These Marines are pretty bunched up and they're on creep. It's a good opportunity for the Banes. The tanks are not sieged. The Banes hit the tanks. That is not what we wanted, but it's what we got. The Medivacs pick up and leave, what? They should absolutely keep pushing here. All oh, Will Blur has a flank of Lings on this. And a tank is taken out. Oh my goodness. Is he actually going to defend this? He got a good bit of damage done with that attack. Terran is down to 27 workers to 54. The push continues here. There's another tank and more marines. But the Banes are morphing up. And there are still queens here to help defend this attack. If Will Blur can hold, he is super duper far ahead. Playing Bane. Trying to hang on here. Medivax putting in work. The Marine count was thinned out, so these Marines are getting relatively better health care than they were before. This one guy has like four medics on him. He's like, I always dreamed of that. You know. <laughs> More Banes are coming out. There is another tank up here. Queen's trying to help anchor this defense. 
The queen should be focusing the medivacs. And they just focused one. That's great. Queens deal more damage to air than they deal to ground. Just based on their attack speed. And the range versus air is better. So these queens thinning out that medivac count. Wilbler pulling ahead in supply. He's at 88 to 63. The tank unsieges. It's trying to drive home. The medivacs pick it up. Try to reposition it. Pick up the other marines and fall back. There is a third base here, but this third base is taken so late. And Terran is still on just plus one infantry weapons, which is not the most luxurious loadout for these heckin' dudes with gun. Medivac Marine moving forward, tank in the back line. This tank has 28 kills. It's a commander. Never Sheer, thank you for sponsoring this Neuro Dojo with your resident sleeper, resident sleeper, resident sleeper, resident sleeper. 95 supply to 89. It is evening up a little bit. Will Blur needs to get a fourth base online. That fourth base is woefully misplaced. But it's okay. Terran will probably kill this anyway. Medivax dropping in the main. Will Blur checking his vision. He, oh, he noticed it. The Spore kills a Medivac. He wisely pulls the drones away. He needs to just go defend this. These Marines. Putting some pepper on this lair. He needs to save the lair. The lair is getting low. Oh, just barely saves it. Wow. Now he can transfuse it. Yeah, this space is about three squares off. Uh, it's maybe two off. Yeah, this is very off. Another big push coming out of Aru. Will Blur needs to get some more drones on the map. That double drop in the main dealt a pretty devastating amount of damage. He has 1-1 one, one upgrades, houses 2-2 two, two coming along. 2-2 two, two is about halfway, a little bit over halfway. Things thinning out some of these units. The tanks are well positioned here. Lings are cutting off this flank, which is great. Oh, Lings killing the tanks in the back line. If these queens can group up and get the medivacs, this is going to be a really clean defense from Will Blur. The worker count is very even, though. Will Blur absolutely needs to drone a base. Just take all your larvae and just drone this base all the way. Send 20 workers at it and then expand. It's one of the things you have to really get in the routine of doing in StarCraft II is whenever you lose a base and a bunch of workers, just take a base and drone a base all the way. Zerg makes those big decisions with their rounds of larvae. He's got 11 larvae right now. I would make those all into drones. Fix this base. You could even make 11 workers. Send it here. Eight. Three more is 11. Three more is 14. Make 14 workers of the main for some optimal saturation. He did drone this base up a little bit. It's 52 to 45. 11 queens is a lot to have, and they have a lot of energy. Plus one infantry armor is about done now. Not seeing an armory out of Terran yet. Okay, there it's on the way. Okay, this base is very misplaced. The mining from here is efficient, but the mining from here to here is like a Lord of the Rings journey. The drop is going for the lair. One of the overlords is killed. Drones are being rallied into the main, but there's no spore coverage up here. Just even having one spore here and one spore here would be great for putting pressure on these medivacs. It would have actually killed this medivac if there were two spores there. The medivac might just fly over these queens. The queens are right next to it. Does Will Blur have the attentional management to right-click this medivac with the queens? He does! And that cleans up the drop. What a situation here. The queens are battling it out. The supply, oh my gosh, 19 SCVs were killed at this third base during all that. And this command center is looking worse for where the SCV is trying to fix it as fast as it can. But this is a tough time. Is this gold league? This is actually diamond league. 
but whenever you're spectating a game, it looks a little bit lower skill than when you're actually playing it because you don't have to do the things in it mechanically. You just see the end result of people's actions. So a pretty common thing when people watch these Neuro Dojo games, whenever they watch the skill level, they usually guess about two to three leagues lower than it actually is because you get to just see the mistakes and you don't have to worry about the micro yourself. 39 workers for Aru, 70 for Will Blur. Let's just see how many workers have been killed by both sides. Will Blur has killed 35 SCVs. Oh, another medivac full killed by these queens. And 24 workers killed by Aru. This base is under attack. Marines found a good bit of damage there. Hydra's trying to push this drop back, but the Marines do escape. Good evening, AXM Shadow. Moldy Sock, think of it the 42 months. Hello, welcome to our first time chatters. My name is Neuro and this is StarCraft 2. On one of the maps that's going to be in next season. Actually, before next season, probably. And we also hosted this on the new patch. So there are some changes. The main one that would come into play for this match would be the Baneling nerf. But Will Blur is still doing pretty well. Will Blur doesn't really have Banes with this army. He's taking this fight before he's actually ready. He's up to 82 workers against 52. He needs to form up, get all of his queens together, gather his strength. Aru has all of his strength in this one push area. Bane's going for some damage. They get a lot of these marines. The 2-2 upgrades are coming in clutch here. This is still 2-2 Zerg versus 1-1 Terran. Even after those 10 kills, Wilbler is still ahead economically. He's got a Ling blocking this base location. He's got a Bane blocking this location. This is fantastic. The two brothers fighting it out. Do you ever get into a tiff with your sibling and then settle it in a StarCraft 1v1? We're doing that right now. Actually, I don't know if they were grouchy at each other. They're probably just wanting to have fun. SCVs run a union break in the main base. Yep. But they're getting back to work now. You just picked it up again recently. It's more fun than you remember. Yeah, the thing about StarCraft is because it's so high effort, whenever you win, it feels very satisfying. And you know that you earn the victory yourself in a 1v1, which is really nice too. Sometimes in team games, you do just have like a smurf on your team who carries you or something. Or the other people on your team are just doing great and you don't really feel like you did that much. But in StarCraft, you have to work for it every time. Which makes it feel really cool. Will Blur is now the one in control of this match going for the aggression. These Banes getting great damage on the bio. Hydraling Bane, Will Blur is maxing out. Production tab, we've got 50 Lings being made. 50 heckin' Zerglings. I like how he's going 5 out of 3 in this one. Just because it's further away, he's kind of doing the mental math here. <laughs> Marine tank. Terrence going for that fourth base, flying this command center over. Fifth command center is on the way. Plus two infantry weapons being researched. Will blur, 182 supply. About doubling the opponent's supply here. Lingbane Hydra and the 50 Lings are running across the map. Will Blur is going on the offense. The 2-2 is such a huge edge for Zerg here. And the Hydra Ling Bane pushes in this area by the natural. The tank is trying its best. These Hydras have plus two armor. GG is called. And Will Blur takes it in a big upset. Before this match, Wilbler said that he loses 90% of the time against his brother Aru, but he's been practicing and he showed us some really nice Zerg versus Terran. Great job defending that two base all in. This drone count could have been a little bit higher for that, but he was able to hang on, re-expand, get the bases and get that eco up. Very well played. GG to both brothers in this Neuro Dojo one versus one.